All right, today I'm going to run through how I am going to install this oil catch can from k and in my 2015 Chevy Silverado. Let's get started. All right, the first thing we're going to do is assemble the catch can. And we've got the inlet and the outlet, and these have threads on there. And uh, ultimately, we need to put the Teflon tape on it. You'll hold the threads to you and then roll the tape clockwise around. Make sure that it sticks and it stays as you tighten these back into the catch can itself. So do that for both. All right, I got both the inlet and the outlet uh, attached. Um, they're not going to go in all the way. Just get them tight, snug. And I used a 13 16 wrench to uh, snug them up. All right. So next we're going to put the bracket on and it goes on top. That's basically this right here. And you can see where the holes align. And these are uh, hex screws, three thirty seconds, I believe. So let's put those on next. All right, here we are into the engine bay and we're going to take the catch can. You can see the two holes here and it's made to fit right here. So we're going to get a little flathead screwdriver, pop these little pieces out and we'll secure it there. All right, pop these out. You just insert the flathead in between those two discs and then you pry the top piece out and then you can squeeze this together from underneath and that'll slide right out so you don't have to tear these apart. Pretty simple. All right, we've got the catch can mounted and um, eight millimeter bolt or socket wrench, whatever you prefer. Use a 10 on the bottom with the nut to snug it up. All right, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the factory hose and install the uh, hoses that came with the catch can. Let's get the factory hoses removed. All right, first thing we gotta do is remove the air box. And there's two clips push up on this gray tag, tab here, and then you'll be able to pull this hose off. There's one on both sides over here. Repeat the process, and then we need to loosen the bracket here with the 5 16 Then we'll be able to pull this air box off of the intake manifold, or throttle body, excuse me. Okay, we got the air box off the throttle body. We just set it up here to the side, still connected to where the filter is. And ultimately what we're going to do is disconnect the hose, which is right below. You can see me shining it there. We're gonna use that gray tab there. And then last but not least, we're gonna hit the other end of it over here to get it off. All right, let's do that next. All right, got the original hose out. And the trick is, is it's very difficult to get your right hand under there. Ultimately, you have to press from the un underside so that that thing loosens up but if you work with both hands then you can use your left hand to kind of twist it around and then you can use your thumb and squeeze it that's how I was able to get it out and then you're just pulling straight out so ultimately pulling from this end first to disconnect and then the back side you pull straight out so next thing we got to do is connect the hoses from the new catch can into um, the intake manifold and the return. Let's do that next. All right, got the hoses connected. So come in below the throttle body. That's gonna go in on the left side and the one on the right comes back out of the intake manifold. These are super easy to connect. Really, you just push the hose into the connector and it snaps into place. Same on the other end. So next, let's put the air, air box back in and uh, go from there. All right, she's all buttoned back up. Got the air box connected to both hoses, one on each side, tightened the, uh, the bolt down here. And you can see catch can. This screws off, recommended to change it and check it uh, every oil change. So whatever you're doing, three to 6,000 miles. All right, hope you found this helpful. Like and subscribe.